Hi and welcome. I'm Anna Thaler-Peterson, Fieldwork Coordinator for the Secondary Education Program at Humboldt State, and I'm here to walk you through the process of applying for your Certificate of Clearance through the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing's website. This process is the same for all the credential programs at Humboldt State, so don't be scared if you're an elementary or special ed applicant. Prior to apply applying online for your Certificate of Clearance, you should already have done your live scan fingerprinting. There's a link to that form in the applications for all the credential programs at Humboldt State. If you've done your live scan already, you'll begin the Certificate of Clearance application process at the California Commission Teacher Credentialing's website, www.ctc.ca.gov. Make sure that your internet browser is set to accept pop-ups from this website before you start. Click the Online Services for Educators button on the home page. On the next page, click the Educator page button. On this page, enter your social security number and your date of birth. Note that if you're creating a new profile for yourself, you'll get a warning saying that your information does not exist in the database. Ignore this warning. Re-enter your information and the system will let you in. Here's the page where you'll enter your personal information. Use the Edit button to add information. Select Save when done. Click New to make address changes and then click Save. Click Next when you've filled everything in. Your records page will look different than mine. Mine shows the credential I received several years ago, as well as my own certific certificate of clearance. For you, look for Web Applications and click Create New to start your application. On the next page, you'll select Certificate of Clearance Activity Supervisor Clearance Certificate from the first drop-down menu and Certificate of Clearance from the Document slash Authorization Title drop-down menu. Then a checklist will, form will appear for you to fill out. Please fill this out and print it for your own reference. Then click Next. Read the disclosure page for the professional fitness questions and answer yes to continue to the next page. When here, on a page that looks like this, you will answer each of the professional fitness questions, complete the oath and affidavit, and click Proceed to Payment. Click that only once. The next page shows the document applied for and the amount to pay. Make sure you're paying for a certificate of clearance here. Click the Continue button. Fill in all your billing information and click Continue when finished. Then verify that all your payment information is correct and click Complete Payment once, just once. Be patient. On the next page, please use the first link to get a printable receipt for you to include your application to the HSU Credential Programs. Once you're done, you're all set. Now, note, if you answered yes to any of the professional fitness questions, you'll need to send in supporting paperwork to the Commission within 30 days. That has to do with um, if you have any kind of arrest record that you need to provide documentation about. You can check the status of your application through the Educator page back through the uh, original CTC website. The Application tab will show you the status of your application. The CTC processes these applications in the order received. It can take up to a month to process one, and it's likely to take longer if you have any supporting paperwork about an arrest record that you need to submit. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions about this process. You can reach the School of Education office at 707-826-5867. Take care and have a great day.